that is freaking awesome. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Okay, guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're out at the park, I've got uh, Ian with me there, he's just finished a target, grabbed a $2 coin before, I've just been pulling up uh, rubbish so far, but I've got a 25, 26 high tone signal here, a little bit of dirt on the poke cloth, and my target's getting closer, so I'll get this loose out of here, and see what we can come up with, eh? Hopefully, something good for the camera. I had a nice 33 high tone before and ended up being a horrible... There we go, it's on the cloth. Oh yeah, here we go. For shelling. Really nice. First silver of the day. Nineteen thirty-four. Pop that up there for a photo. Beautiful. I had a thirty-eight, thirty-nine screaming high tone on this one. Big chunk of uh, copper or bronze pot. Pretty old, fairly deep down. Eight inches or so. All right. Pretty cool. Really beautiful 19 high tone. Not sure what we've got here. Maybe an old lipstick or something. Okay, got a nice sounding target here. We've got a high tone 1920. Probably an inch or two to go. Beautiful soft ground. Okay, it's out. Oh, there we go. Another silver. Six yep. Mm -hmm. 45. There you go. 1945. New Zealand silver. So I'm having a bit of a go with uh, Ian's Go Find 66. And uh, I had it going between jewellery and coin. Three bars, three green lights. And popped up a nice old copper key. That's pretty cool. So I'm still on the uh, Go Find 66. And just popped up a nice $2 coin. Yeah, okay, still on the 66. Got another target here. Probably another inch or so. Loosen up a bit more of that dirt.
target is out of the hole. You feel it? Oh, there you go. Oh, it's a nice UK penny. 1938. Still on the 66. Ian's over there with the vanquish having a go. And I just popped a $1 coin. I'm just heading over to um, Ian because he's just popped a uh, nice coin up with the vanquish. While I pulled up a uh, pull tab. Oh, we'll see what he's got. Where is it? <laughs> I haven't lost it. I know I haven't lost it. Dropped it on the ground for me to find, maybe. That'd be good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, check that out. That's nice. That's pretty good. Ooh. It's in good nick. 33, first year of the silvers. One shilling. Oh, that's an awesome find. Congrats. Happy man. <laughs> He's got a smile now. <laughs> <laughs> I've broken the silver drought now. <laughs> First silver. Sweet. Well, on that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just under the swings. See if it's fine. Nice little dollar coin. Take it. Okay, it's uh, getting a bit darker now and um, might make this probably my last hole um, unless I get something on the way back to the ute. But anyway, we'll do a live dig. As you can see, got nothing on the plug cloth yet, so we'll dig a bit out of here and. Um, See what we can find together. Hopefully something good. I had a 23, 24 high turn on the, the Vanquish. Ian's finally uh, let me have it back. <laughs> okay, we're getting closer. The ground's reasonably hard here. Just um, not far away from the base of a tree, so quite a few um, roots. See in the bottom of the hole there, big root going right across the middle. And I'm on it right there. And we'll chop down this side of it. Hopefully it's not one of those little brown buggers. Try and get under the root if I can. Sorry if the camera is a bit wobbly. Okay, I'll um, put this down and bring you back in. As I get a bit closer. Alright, so I've got it out of the hole. Um, looks like it would have been a fairly nice um, pen at some stage. This is the uh, lid from it. Okay. Hi guys, welcome to the breakdown. So as you can see, I've got our normal suspects. Can slaw, screw caps, pull tabs, and we've got the, the giant pull tab there. A um, bit of miscellaneous, that, that um, pen top, a bit of copper tubing, which 
sure what that one was, but a lippy maybe. Key and a badly corroded alloy knuckle bone. Three two cent coins. We got four bucks in spendies. Got that nice um, British one penny. And finds of the day, got a couple of nice New Zealand silvers. A shilling and sixpence. Okay, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.